Hey everybody, Sinister Lex here, back for another episode of Coastal Morning. This one we're going to be talking a little bit about Udemy, and I'm going to tell you about a course that I just launched. Anyway, before we get into that, remember to rate, comment, subscribe, click that get notification bell if you want my notifications, and uh, let's talk about this. Let's talk about Udemy. So, a lot of what we talk about on this channel is freelancing, and that is well and good. It's pretty cool, you know, but... I want to talk a little bit about Udemy because I think that, I don't know, you know, Udemy can be a passive income source for you. So the reason I had this on my mind lately, I've launched a few Udemy courses in the past, back when I was doing short story stuff, back when I was publishing through my publishing company, I ran a couple Udemy courses and I, I really didn't even think they were that great. I ended up unpublishing them at some point and Udemy decided to republish them on their own. And so I said, you know what, screw it, I'm going to let these courses run. And I did. I just let the course run. I didn't go in there. I didn't make any updates. I didn't like follow up with students because I wanted it unpublished. I said, I don't want to run this course anymore. But Udemy doesn't let you delete courses once you make them. So since they put it back online for me, you know, I just let it run. People can enroll. They might get disappointed, but that's not my fault because I unpublished it once. Bottom line. The course was making sales and people seemed satisfied with it and nobody seemed to care that I wasn't uh, engaged in the course. I mean, this is several years old and my experience with it has been I make a sale or two sales at least once a month. I make one to two sales a month and they're not they're not bringing much money, but this is completely in the back burner. You know, it's total autopilot. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about is is have you considered doing courses on Udemy? Um, if so, what what might you teach? I mean, there's a lot of stuff you could teach on Udemy that could be really valuable for people. So for those of you who don't know my stance on where kind of the world is going with automation and just people, I guess, let me put it like this. Automation is happening and it is increasingly happening and more and more people are going to be put out of jobs, more and more of our hard work, our heavy labor our tasks as humans are going to replace by automated software systems, hardware systems, things that make life easier. And as that happens, humans as a species, we are going to start to look into more passionate pursuits. Now, I'm not one to tell you to follow your passions. That's not what I'm saying here. But I am saying that there's going to be a large shift in mindset and focus toward pursuits of passion as this happens, as people have less work to do, as people have more free time on their hands. This We're looking at a period of 10 to 20 years here. You know, this is a pretty big range, but people will be shifting to more passionate pursuits. So for that reason, I mean, we can even look at this and say, look at how freelance is already changing this landscape. I'm able to go, I'm able to listen to audiobooks all day long if I wanted to. I can read books. I can play around on the internet. I can do what I want to do for the most part because I work differently than most people. I'm not in a full-time job where I have to go somewhere and give away eight hours of my day. I'm at home and I'm freelancing and that has changed the way I interact with the world. It's changed what I can do and what I, what I can spend my time on, where I can invest my time. So to that end, we are already seeing this shift happening. And what this means is I go on Udemy and I go, I'm buying books. I bought probably three or four books just today, audiobooks. And I bought in courses in probably the last month or so on Udemy to learn new things. These are not skills necessarily that I'm going to be using in my freelance business. Some of these things are, are things I just want to learn. And I have time to learn those things now. So that makes it awesome. All of this that I'm getting around to is that you probably have something you can teach. Whatever that thing is. I don't know. Maybe you're good at math. Maybe you know how to make t-shirts and uh, get them up on T Public or something to make money with those. Maybe you know something else. Maybe you know affiliate marketing. Maybe you know web design, WordPress design, Weebly design. Maybe you know Squarespace. You know how to do logo design. Maybe you know how to draw. Maybe you know how to create digital music. Maybe you know how to play the piano. These are just things that are popping off the top of my head. They're, they're pursuits of, some of these are pursuits of passion. Some of them are business related. Here's some things that I've bought on Udemy. I've bought in courses. I bought parkour. That's a, I mean, I don't know. That seems like a pretty passionate passion pursuit to me. I bought parkour. I bought one on pole dancing back when we had a stripper pole in our bedroom. Um, 
I did try that and it did not go very well for me, but I did do it. And I bought stuff on hypnotherapy, NLP, influence and persuasion, sales. Those are all business related. Well, I mean, not all of them, but some of those were business related. I bought stuff on child development and parenting. I just, I buy a variety of things and some of these are pursuits of passion. Some of them are more business related. It doesn't matter. The bottom line is if you have something you can teach and you can make it into a high definition video with good audio, then you can put it on Udemy and you can let it sell on autopilot. And how this works is there's a couple of ways that Udemy can work. Some people use Udemy as a full-time business. Now we have to consider the fact that Udemy, if you're publishing your courses only to Udemy, you are giving up the element of control. You do not have control because you are on Udemy's platform. So that is one thing that you are giving up. And there's also the expectation on Udemy that a lot of courses are going to be $10. You know, they're going to be 10 to $15 max. So it doesn't really matter what you price it at. There's not going to be many people buying your courses um, or they're not going to be paying very much. So you're not going to make much money. Well, you have to treat it like a business, of course, but even not treating it like a business, I was, I've been able to generate over the last several years, at least one to two sales per month. And now that's not very much. That's like five to 10 bucks a month coming in sometimes 20 bucks, but it's completely passive. And that's the point of this video is that I'm doing that in the background. That was totally off my radar. It just comes into my bank account, kind of like Kindle unlimited. You know, when I publish, I have eBooks published from four years ago that are still generating sales at least every month or every other month, something like that. And I see 10 bucks come into my bank account and any of these things can be scaled up at any time. But the point is they're there and this is virtually completely passive income. I mean, once you, once you create your course and you put it on Udemy or you put it, put it, uh, yeah, well on Udemy, it's, it's just out there. It's for the world to see. And if you promote it a little bit, get some, like you get that feedback or you get those sales, Udemy will probably promote you and help you out. Now, like I said, you give up some control with Udemy. So that's kind of a challenge because you could put all this stuff on your own website, but then you got to get traffic to your website. You have to, you have to run ads to your website. There's just a lot of stuff you have to do on Udemy. You can give them more control. You can say, Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to opt into all these promotions you've got. You can take my course. You can sell it at whatever price you want. I don't care, but just do that. And then they're going to promote you. They're going to give you more featured space. They're going to share you with more people so that you make money and they make money because you're opting into the programs that they think are best for you. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm letting them do that with my new course because I want it to be hands off. I don't want this to be a big focus of mine. I just don't have a lot of time to spend focusing on courses. Now, here's the thing in the past, my courses have been 2000 to $3,000. So if you wanted to train with me, if you wanted to do a course with me, or you wanted to do one, one coaching with me, you were going to spend 2000 to $3,000. And that this is not that level of in-depth material, but I did try to add as much value, like as much value as possible for this level of course, for a course that would be end up selling for $10 at points. I tried to make it more valuable than that $10. And if you enroll in my course, of course, you're going to be able to make back your $10 probably within the first week. I mean, there's no way. Well, that's, that's something we'll talk about later. I don't want to get too off track. You to me though, if you have a skill and if you can make good video and good audio, basically following the guidelines that Udemy sets forth, you can create a passive income system for yourself and you can scale this up. If you want, if you put your course out there, you start promoting it a little bit and you start to get some people buying. If you find out that your course starts to sell, then it's really not that far fetched that you could run Facebook ads to your page, even though Udemy is going to be running their own ads, you could run ads to your page and maybe direct your own traffic and let this become an autopilot passive income source for you. And there's, I don't see any reason why you couldn't make more money than just, you know, five to 10 bucks a month. I mean, five to 10 bucks a month was me doing absolutely nothing, not even going to Udemy's website. They were just doing their own thing and sending me five to 10 bucks a month. But, uh, as far as, sorry, I'm getting a message. It caught my attention. Somebody's messaging me. Anyway, as far as all this stuff goes, you can so lost my train of thought. You and me as a passive income source. That's what I'm saying. That's all I wanted to talk about because I know some of you are doing freelance. Well, why don't we look at the bigger picture of business here? Freelance is good. Freelance can make you a lot of money. Freelance can be a source of income for you, but 
the more passive income sources you have, the happier you're going to be in your business. Um, I don't like the term passive income a lot of the time because I think people feel like, you know, it doesn't take effort or that you're just going to do this simple thing and make all this money. If you want this to be like a business, if you wanted Udemy to be like a business, you would have to treat it as such. You would have to promote it. You need to drive traffic. You need to probably run ads. You need to get your message out there and you need to have a high quality product. That's going to help you put this on autopilot. But the bottom line is it is a passive income source as much as a passive income source can be once you put it out there. Now, if you want more control, you're going to, like I said, have to put this on your own website. That makes things a lot harder. If you have something to teach, no matter what it is, consider doing this and you might have to invest in a better webcam but some of you might be able to do this from your phone if you can get at least 720p video on your phone and you can get audio that meets udemy standards then you can make a course and they've got all kinds of videos to help you do that so that could be valuable for you so I'll tell you about my course real quick. I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time spamming it, but I am going to let you know there's a coupon code. It's down in the description. There's also, I'll just put it up here on the screen. But the first course that I'm launching now is a beginner freelance course. So if you are someone who is looking to get into freelancing, you've never done it before, you're not, you don't really know what freelancing is, this would be for you. Uh, is we're going to cover different platforms. We're going to cover how to get started. We're going to cover the mindset. It covers how to write proposals, how to set up your profile, how to do things such as use you focused um, proposals. And I actually give examples of some of my past proposals. I also have a profile template in there that's going to help you write a bio that's going to draw clients in who want to work with you. Uh, there's other things such as goal setting to help you make the transition from your full time job into the world of freelance and so that you can quit if you want to or supplement your income however you want to handle that we talk about getting into the interviews the interview calls and how to how those are structured how they should flow just different things pitfalls that you want to avoid how to scale pricing just everything that i could think of and i tried to crunch it into a three-hour course to make it as valuable as possible for you for what you were getting. So definitely, definitely worth 10 bucks. Um, and I say 10 bucks because that's what it's gonna be from right now through the new year. So through midnight of December 31st, 2017, the coupon code is up on the screen right now, Freelance Freedom. Go to this link and uh, enter that coupon code between now and midnight, December 31st, 2017, and you can get my course for 10 bucks if that's something that you want. So there's value there, whether you're brand new or you're seasoned veteran, but you still need help with some of these things. And then I'll be putting out some other courses upcoming. So like the very next course is gonna be on proposals. It's gonna be an advanced proposal writing course for those of you who wanna go in depth with that and really understand what goes into a high quality, supercharged freaking proposal that gets responses. Anyway, that's all I got for this one. Let me know your thoughts down below. Have you ever ran Udemy courses? What was your experience with that? How did you, did you like it? I mean, I think it's okay. It's, they're kind of a pain sometimes, but I like working with Udemy in terms of it being hands off for the most part. And I am going to make more courses and put them on there. That's my thoughts. So use the coupon code while you can. I'm Sinister Lex. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.